Yes, I'm going to transverse the boulder bed. This is probably my last time gold panning in Canada. Somebody requested a bit of gold for a portrait they're doing of me. So that's what I'm down here doing today. And yeah, there's a train over there. So, I'm going to transverse this and get to the other side down to where my favorite panning spot is. And I haven't been there for a while. Let's go. Well, I got over that damn boulder bed. The older I get, the harder it gets to get over these things. It doesn't get any easier. It's not easy to climb over these. It's quite difficult, especially in rubber boots. Yeah, he's just sitting there, doing nothing. So now we're going this way. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll probably recognize this part. The trail in, which has definitely changed. It's more sparse in plant life. Somebody's been down here clearing it out. Wow. All right. Oh, there's another train on this side. You can go by right there. You can hear him, but you can't see him. <laughs> there he goes. <coughs> well, I made it down to my favorite padding spot here. I've done many panning and fishing videos here. I think I've only brought three people down here gold panning. That train's still sitting there, waiting away. There's the wall, the stone wall right there that the Chinese workers made over 150 years ago. We made that to stabilize the bank for the railroads. So this is where I'm going to start my panning. We did pan under this rock where my stuff is. Pan in front of that rock. I think I'm going to start probably down in here today right away. And then I'm going to work my way to that rock right over there. That one right there, and I'm going to pan in front of that one, because it looked good when I was walking by. Alright, let's get busy. Let's see if I can get some gold. Well, that train's still sitting there. It's been there a while. They've got one of their work trucks there, I guess they're repairing it. I done my first pan. Let's see if I can get out of the sun so I can show you guys what I got here. Just look at that. Whoa, they're moving on me. Here we go. You see that? That's a nice piece of gold right there. There's a couple there. Aren't they beautiful?
I'm gonna get some more. There's like five pieces in there. That was my first pan. That's like two half shovels full. From right there. Where my shovel is. I'm gonna do some more. Well, <clears throat> it's been five pans. Let's see how I did. Let's give this a light swirl, like so. Piece of gold right there. Piece of gold right there. I'm gonna clean this up when I get home. There's some nice gold in this pan. Lots of black sand that I'm going to have to clean out. Here we go. There's some nice gold in this pan here. I done five. I'm losing the sunlight. It's starting to get a little windy. And I want to get home before dark. So I'm going to call it quits. I got enough for the person who requested the gold to be able to do the job that they want the gold for. And that's for a portrait, which we will do a video of at a later time. So, wonderful day. Came out to play. Now I'm tired. Need a snack and a cup of tea. I gotta cross that boulder bed again. Or dig a set of stairs and climb up that. I'll figure that out when I get there. I just had to come down and give you a better look at this wall. This rock wall. The Chinese railroad workers made this over 150 years ago. The 1860s, that's when they made this. The 1860s, 1870s, and through the 1880s when they were working on it all. There's one right there. The other guy left. That's a new one. Well, it's been a good day. Time to go home for some vittles. Now I gotta cross this damn thing again. That ought to be fun. Not. I just wanted to point out some things that you should look out for when you're out prospecting. One of them is this. When that big rock right there which there ain't much holding that in place when it comes down here and smacks into this big huge rock right here what a sound and mess that's going to make. That big one right there, probably within the next few months, is going to come down, smack this rug here, and they both going to go that way. It's not a place you want to be standing when that happens. Neither do I. I'm out of here. I made it across that again. Now look at the things you find though when you're walking along the trail. My goodness, some kid probably misses that. I'm just doing the final cleanup right now. 
you guys have watched my past videos, you know how I do this. You just give the pan, you leave it on the table and give it a little swirl like this. And all the garbage will go to the center of the pan. And all the gold will stay to the outside. Just like this. Kind of hard to do this with one hand and film with the other. I seem to be making it work. Very cool. Here we go. Maybe I should leave one garnet with it. One little piece of gold right there trying to get in with the rest. Don't worry, he'll stay in a pan. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I got today. Five pans worth. Not bad sized gold. I'm pretty pleased. I went to my favorite spot. And I got that. I had about four or five pans. I got that. Nice gold. And I also got this. Opals. Still in the matrix. Nice piece of opal. Look at that compared to my hand. That's beautiful. That's a 14 inch pan as well underneath my hand. Opals in the matrix. Yeah. Nice find. Still in its pegmatite. Sits up nice and pretty. Just like that. Yeah. Okay. These you will see in the next video. I'm going to get this all nicely viled up. And then it's going to a friend for a portrait she's doing. Let's get her viled up.